Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard for the BTN HD and Windows 10 latest feature called the Sandbox. Now the Sandbox was released within the Windows Insider Build 18.305 and you need a couple of requirements for this to work correctly. One, you need the build, which is uh, 18.305 and your processor needs to support uh, virtualization, okay? If you're using like VMware, like I am, you got to make sure that your virtual machine is capable of doing nested virtualization. Now, for me, I had to go and log into my ESXi. I'm using my Windows Preview. I had to shut it down, click on Edit Settings, and within Edit Settings, I needed to go inside CPU and make sure that you have Expose Hardware Assisted Virtualization to the Guest OS enabled. Once you enable that option, click on Save and then start your virtual machine. Now, again, one of the core requirements is to have the latest 18.305 build. And it's really simple to install this feature. So you could click on start, type in control panel. And within control panel, you want to go inside programs and features. And within programs and features, click on turn windows features on and off. It's going to start loading up. You're going to get all the windows features. Go all the way down to windows sandbox. Check it press OK. It's going to start searching for the required files. Eventually, you're going to get this. Your machine needs to restart to finalize the, the new feature. It's going to start configuring itself. I think it restarts about two times. And once it's done, you're able to log in. Once you log into your machine, click on Start and start typing Windows Sandbox. Click on it. You're going to get the user account control. Click on Yes. It's going to start loading up. Uh, for me, because I'm running everything within a virtual machine, it's like nested virtualization. I got the black box. This took maybe two or three minutes to load up. And once everything was up and running, I got this. So I got a full functional Windows 10 Pro Insider Program Sandbox. So what is a sandbox? It is like a virtual machine that allows you to install programs and test it out rather than installing the program within your, you know, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, your host, your physical machine, your production machine. If you are a developer or a programmer and you want to test out your software, you don't want to kill your, your primary machine, your, your production machine, you could do it in here. You could break it. The only problem is, is that if you install a program and you close the sandbox, it's basically going to wipe it clean. So it's fully functional. You're able to click on start. I did notice that the sandbox tries to download all the stupidity of the apps. This stuff right here was downloading apps. I didn't really give it time to see what type of apps it was downloading, but keep in mind that it will slow down a little bit because it is downloading apps. But when you do close it down, this is the warning that you're going to get. If you install any programs and you think you're going to launch the sandbox up and you're going to continue where you left off, no, it's going to completely wipe it clean. And when you restart your sandbox, it's like a fresh environment. And that's it, guys. That is how you install Windows Sandbox. Make sure that your CPU supports virtualization. If you're using VMware or any type of virtual environment, you know, for testing stuff, make sure that you are able to do nested virtualization. And Sandbox is a great area for you to test programs out uh, and, you know, not affect your primary production machine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.